You can find salt almost anywhere. It's in mostly everything. That explains why, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, 88% of U.S. children and adults consume way too much of it. I like how it tastes. <laughs> It's our adaptation to that taste that's one of the main issues preventing people from making changes. It's difficult for people if they've used a lot of salt all their life to just suddenly stop using it, uh, throw away the shaker, and you know eat all fresh foods that are low in sodium. So certainly reducing it over time does help our uh, taste buds to adjust to that. The average person eats not one, but two teaspoons full of salt per day. This doesn't just come from what we add to our meals. In fact, the real problem comes from what we don't see. There's a lot of sodium in foods, in general, in uh, packaged foods, and so we may not always be aware of that. If we go out to eat, uh, foods are prepared with salt or sodium additives that we might not think about. In fact, three-fourths of the sodium content comes from these packaged foods and restaurant meals. Many of the problems stemming from the various condiments, preservatives, and sauces being used. I don't read labels or calorie count or check the content of anything. But because of sodium's link to so many dangers, manufacturers are looking to help you make that change. The National Salt Reduction Initiative was launched to help reduce sodium intake and reduce sodium levels in foods by up to 25 percent by its target date of January 2014. More than two dozen food manufacturers and restaurant chains have signed on and include Kraft, Heinz, Starbucks and Subway. I think if we get a lot of manufacturers involved in just doing those decreases over time that that will help all of us really achieve a better ability to decrease the sodium in our diets. Erica Wachter, NCC News.